This is a beautiful campus. So this was your this was your guys' run. Yeah, so we would up start this hill. we would start at the, the Valley Life Science building, sprint up to the to the Campanile. Twenty five back. Pounds, huh? Depended on how uh, you know how mad our strength coach was at us. <laughs> Thirty times. But it got maybe. us it got us to, to the World Series, so you know, I took these reps really serious. I mean, yeah. like I said, every rep counts. And um, when you're a college athlete, a student athlete, you're not getting paid to do this. Right. You, you, you're on scholarship. You know, you're not under contract to do any of this. Right. So it's all, it's all how much do you want it? And that's what I, the way I thought about it. Are there some stories, some Marcus Simeon stories of this campus that will never be told? Don't tell them here, I'm just saying. Any collegiate well, moments for you? Come on. I was pretty straight edge guy. I mean, <laughs> you know, we had a great time as a team. We had a yeah. great group. I think that's what makes a team a team is you need to be, you need to be together off the field too. Yeah. That, that goes for our Oakland A's team too. We, yeah. we spend a lot of time away from the field together because you, you need to know everybody's personality so that when you're in battle and something doesn't go somebody's way you need to know how to handle absolutely. it absolutely and that's that's always been my kind of my my values um, as a teammate you want to know your teammate right and that's that's why you go out and have a good time every once in a while and just enjoy each other the bells are about to go off too perfect once you get higher up on campus you just feel that sunshine it's real it's beautiful weather, you know, that's why a lot of people choose this school for the weather. Yes, it rains a little bit, but most of the time it's very consistent. Uh, you get up to the top of campus and you get a view of the whole Golden Gate Bridge and Bay too. That's, you know, a lot of the teams bring recruits up there just to show them how beautiful this area is. And growing up here, sometimes you take it for granted, but, um, you know, my wife and I always try and you know, come up here and see the views every chance we can. Well, there it is. 900 feet tall. Just kidding. I don't really know. Well, yeah. Anytime you, uh, you know, we fly out of Oakland to go on the road, you I always peek my head out, and say, "Oh, there's my old, there's my old school," and that's what you see. It's a Campanile. Um, it's a beautiful place. You can actually catch an elevator, and go all the way up to the top. When I go back and look at Marcus Simeon pictures of, of Cal baseball, well, baby face comes out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell me where, tell me where that baby face like to hang out around here. Do you have a favorite spot, a go-to eatery? Uh, we had a couple. I think uh, for Tara and I, you know, our pockets weren't deep at all, but we tried to you know, go out and eat as much as we could. And just um, we went to Crepevine. It's down off of Shattuck. Uh, there's also one in Oakland too. We love that place. A lot of culture here. Uh, that's another thing. The diversity here at, in Berkeley was um, one thing I really enjoyed. Our Cal baseball team. We had, you know, we I think we had five African American players on the college team. That's that's pretty unheard of in the yeah. Pac-12. So, just driving here today, I was just thinking, I'm I'm so blessed to be able to just live in, yeah. in a place that I'm so familiar with and play in a place that. Uh, is home, you know, never want to take it for granted. And, you know, I know one day it will come to an end, but this is definitely one of the happiest times of my life. Let's say that, let's say you could stick with the A's for a long time. Would you be happy if you never played for another team, like right now? Yeah. Hypothetically? Hypothetically, yeah. I mean, I'm, this is, like I said, this is the most fun I've ever had playing yeah. baseball, especially with this group. Um, you know, we've got so much talent, youth, and camaraderie at the same time. It's it's a great situation. Now we need to get over the hump and win, play better baseball. Uh, we're playing great, but it, you know, there's there's teams that are that are doing big things too. So that that's the goal for everybody. Uh, but in terms of all the other stuff, it, it's it's going really well. Because of those guys and the. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> and because when you came to the A's, wasn't their best years. Now in recent times, you're cracking the playoffs, you're surrounded by exciting and talented players. How do you just see the extremes maybe that you've been through as one of the longest tenured guys so far? 
the first two and a half years, I'd say, were you know, maybe not the best brand of baseball that the A's have you know, had, and I didn't feel great to be a part of that. Yeah. Yes, I was happy to be a, a big league shortstop, and still very young at the time, but uh, once you get a taste of winning and playing the game the right, the right way and playing clean baseball and finding an, an identity as a team, we started yeah. hitting home runs shutting the door with the bullpen, playing good defense. Those, there you go. Oh, those three things are our identity and we found that now and now it's about um, fine tuning those things. And it's, it's more fun playing the game that way when you're fine tuning what you're good at as opposed to just trying to find a way to win and not knowing why you did it. I feel like these 12 chimes here at high noon is the perfect way to close out our show. Marcus, if I want to hit you up on social media, where do I find you? Uh, you do not. <laughs> you find me in Come person. Come on. Can I, can I close it out by begging you, please? Just join us. Uh, I want to send you pictures and maybe stuff. Maybe after I'm playing, but, uh, you know, just find me in person when you yeah. chat like that. Better. All right. Hey, Marcus, thanks for taking us to Cal. This has been awesome. I see why you love it. So fortunate to have you born and raised and doing quite well in the East Bay. Appreciate it, Marcus. Right. Thanks, Thank man. You.